Grim Grimal the Endless was the wave that changed the world. Grim Grimal the Endless was the wave that changed the world. The first city was Hena, and it fell beneath the sea. The second city was Lahatil, and it fell beneath the sea. The third city was Ekesh, and it fell beneath the sea. The fourth city was Var, and it fell beneath the sea. The fifth city was Thungal, and it fell beneath the sea. The sixth city was Yassam, and it fell beneath the sea. The seventh city was Sahir, and it fell beneath the sea. The eighth city was Gelf, and it fell beneath the sea. The ninth city was Niniam, and it fell beneath the sea. But one city did not fall beneath the sea. That city was Droon. That city was Droon. That city was Droon, capital of the last isle. Now on this island, there are many villages, though none that match the great city Droon. In one of these villages, in Sif, my own village, was born the hero of this tale, a young man. Like the young men gathered here tonight. Like Doomwe, whom we celebrate. Doomwe, whom we celebrate. If our hero stood before you in this hall, humble as a man of Sif might be before the men of Droon, you would not say to your neighbor, your brother, your cousin, that young man is a hero. But a hero he was born. A hero he became, and a hero he'll remain. And I will tell you now how, here and now. The fisher folk of Sif catch many kinds of fish, octopus and squid, shrimp and crab. But the largest catch and tastiest, the feast to end all feasts, the catch that feeds a village, this is the bone shark. The bone shark. It is the most cunning, the most frightening, the most beautiful of all the sharks. A long shark, a white shark, with a towering dorsal fin and a great jaw glistening with terrible teeth. This is the shark that concerns our hero. This is the shark that brought him fame. This, this is, is the, the shark, shark that, that brought him fame. To catch a shark, you must first feed it. You must bloody the waters. You must send a slick of chum as sacrifice. For five days, you must do this until the sharks come tame to your boat. Then noose and net, you must grab it. Noose and net, you must drag it to the shore where it will die upon the sand. This is how you catch a shark. This is how you catch a shark. One day, our hero was at sea. Many other men were with him, for the fishermen of Sif do not hunt alone. A man, let us call him Ghoul, for his sense of humor was necrotic, had brought along his young son for the first time. Now, Ghoul, he did not like our hero. Ghoul was a proud man, a strong man, a handsome man too, if you like that sort of man. Ghoul thought there was only room for one hero in Sif, and that hero was Ghoul. Ghoul! Ghoul said to his son, son, why do we waste all this good chum to bait the bone shark? In the next boat over sits a lonesome feast, an unmeshed man whom no one will miss. Let us rock his boat a little, eh? Let us rock his boat and watch him fall in. Father and son took turns rocking our hero's boat. Soon the other men of Sif joined in. Not all men are good men. Not all good men are good all the time. Not even in Droon. The waters grew choppy, the wind grew restless, the bone shark grew tired of waiting for his chum. The, the bone, bone shark, shark grew tired of waiting. Who can say what happened then? A wave too vigorous, the blow of a careless elbow as Ghoul bent to rock our hero's boat. A nudge from the muzzle of the bone shark, an act of the gods from the depths below. Who can know? But our hero saw the child. He saw Ghoul's young son fall into the sea. Like Gelf and Sahir, he fell into the sea. Like Akesh and Var and Niniam, he fell into the sea. Like Hana and Lahatil, like Thungal and Yassam, like the nine islands and all nine cities, the child fell! The, the child, child fell. fell! The bone shark moved as only sharks can move, lightning through the water, opening his maw for the sacrifice. But then our hero was there, there in the sea, between shark and child, between death and the child, our hero was there treading water. There with his noose and his net, he had jumped from his boat. Jumped where no man of Sif could push him. Jumped to save the child, and he tangled the shark in his net. He lassoed the shark with his noose and leashed himself to that dreadful dorsal fin. Ghoul had just enough time to haul his son back into his boat. The shark began to thrash. The, the shark, shark began, began to thrash. thrash. The shark began to swim. The shark, the shark began, began to swim. Our hero clung fast. Our hero held firm. Our hero herded that shark as some men herd horses. He brought that shark to land. He brought that shark onto the sand where that shark could not breathe, and so it died. Thus our hero 
slew the bone shark. Thus our hero fed his village. Thus our hero rescued the child. He rescued the child. He rescued the child. And that is the end of my tale. <laughs>